Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, the 23rd of June. Um, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be your collective reading for the week ahead. Um, I'm going to do the heart, the head and the middle way, or how you will be perceived, how others will perceive you. And then I'll clarify and then I'll do some advice. So, let's crack on and see what we've got. <laughs> so, for the collective in the heart space, what is going down? Nice, working myself. The world didn't come out then, but it didn't. Mm. Three of Pentacles. Might be going on your own, actually. If you're working for someone, you might start choosing to work for yourself. Starting to take action now, make it an offer of love. Make an offer of love to self. Mm. Me. Couldn't get better than those two, actually. For the end in there. Something's coming to an end. Something's giving you shit. It's coming to an end. Something's been too much. Something's kind of knocked you off balance a little bit. Taking you away from your higher self. Oh look, high priestess at the bottom of the deck. That's beautiful as well. Bring you back online, as it were. Nice. Okay, let's do the head. <clears throat> then we'll clarify. We'll get a deeper look at it all. Ten of Swords again. Look, it's there at the end. Amazing. Well, your luck shifted, so that's good. Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Strength, beautiful. You wanted to, but you didn't. What was it? Boundaries. Three of Wands, under the Three of Wands. Mm, nice. Action and adventure. Time to start moving. Fire of Swords. I like seeing that, but there we go. But I like seeing them. Actually, maybe that is a good energy in this sense. But we'll clarify anyway and see. What looks like ten of coins, ten of pentacles. That's really nice as well. So that's a card of contentment. Card of contentment. Card of ever, happy ever after. Actually, card of doing well, being where you want to be. Lots of endings in here, but like really clean. Engines as well with the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, uh, Ten of Swords twice, and also moving on as well because we've got the Three of Wands twice as well, which is great. Um, I think I've strengthened the situation, the truth's come out. There's something I feel that this is rather than this, rather than this being you, this this Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is that like winning at all cost energy, but I think I think it is you, I think it is the collective, but. I don't think it's in a negative way. I think you've had to stand your ground with something because of all these ending cards here. Um, yeah, you've had to stand your ground with something. And, and you've got strength here as well. There's been some truth revealed. But you're coming and working with yourself. If you work for someone else, um, or if you're working with someone else, you may start working on your own. <clears throat> you may have had that realisation. Okay, let's see. Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> you really? Three of Wands again. Right, so that's three of Wands three times now that's come out. So that's a definite thing. It's time to take action. It's time for movement. You're just on the edge of something big and new. Your ships are going to be coming in shortly. That's great. And I feel like here with this Five of Swords, that you, you've stood your ground with something. And that's how comes you've won at all costs because you've got the star after it. So I feel like where you stood your ground, you've, you've done well. You've got a wish fulfillment there. But now you've got to rest. Now you've got to take a little bit of time for yourself. Even though you've got um, action and adventure, I feel like it's a different situation. But anyway, so again, if you're thinking about starting business, then that's a really good card for you. Okay, three 
pentacles in reverse, the queen of cups. Yeah, I think again, this is about you going on your right. This is you going your own way, I think. Your heart's open, you're going your own way. You know what you want now. You know what you want now. All right, let's just offer love then. Young, young love. Ooh. <laughs> well, could be young love, but uh, they definitely got a boner for you. <laughs> it's a big, passionate energy. May it might be a small offer of love, but it's a big, passionate energy. So if that's you, again, if this is talking about, for some of you, if you, this is talking about starting a business, leaving a company and starting your own business, there's been a lot of awareness to that. And actually, that's that's gonna that's brought a lot of passion back to you that you may have been missing. And now it's time to move on it. You're moving on it. And I think as well, <clears throat> something was holding you back, but now you can now you go um, now you can move forward. But why is why is the three of ones there? I can't believe it's come out three times. Uh okay, it might be something that you're um holding yourself in in bondage over. I feel like that's something from the past. I feel like that's something from the past and you, and you, hmm, hold on, we'll do the other ones first. The Hermit in reverse. Page of Cups, Page of Cups, either side. Hmm, well. You may not have seen an offer of love coming there, and because of that, you might be, um, you may be thinking of the past and maybe not want to take it. I don't know. We'll see. Two of Swords. Okay, so this is a different situation. This is something else that's happened. This is new. This is new. So this is about you personally as a business or something, something that you've decided to go on your own. I don't think it's about, it might be for some of you, it might be a relationship ending and you decided to go on your own. But I think for a lot of you, this is about going your own in a business. It may well have been, again, it could be a relationship and something's come out there. You may have decided to end the relationship. I feel like this is a new situation. Well, it could be related actually, business and the, and the new offer of love. But that's definitely a strong offer of love. With passion behind it. <laughs> and again, two of cups with the ten of swords. So I feel like there's something that can't be, you know, there's, a, there's an ending happening. There's an ending happening where the situation isn't going to be able to be salvaged. Whatever that is for you. It could be with work, you know, if that's what, something that's coming up for you. It could be a relationship. But there's something else starting because of this ending, because it's put you in this different energy in a different place. Let us do the Ten of Swords. Oh, me. Got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Well, you're in a good position. You're in a good position anyway. But this could this could be this could turn out to be something more, but this Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups even. And the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Ten of Pentacles there. I heard you're a very successful business as well. Seven of Cups with the Ten of Swords. I don't know what going at. The Ace of Swords, please. So that clarity. The Tower. Okay, so for some of you, this could be a, something, that's, something that's come out. It could be for some of you, if you're in a relationship, about a third party situation, but you're going it alone, you could be getting divorced, could be kids involved. <clears throat> your heart is definitely open there though, and you're definitely working on yourself and you're taking action and adventure. Mm, you could have, you could have met a, a female that has shifted your perspective on something as well. 
Um, but there's a tower moment here with some truth. And I feel like this is an outside thing. But I think that truth is, is, is this, this presented this Ten of Swords. But here is choices, Seven of Cups, right? And I feel like I feel like this choices for these Seven of Cups, rather than it being confusing, it's opened things up for you in a way that you hadn't seen before. So I think the choices are good rather than, than and I think they're related to the three of ones here with this action and adventure rather than oh, some of these choices you, you're confused. I don't think you're confused. I think actually things are lining up for you to just have epiphanies all the time, particularly with this with the with the truth and the tower there. I mean, that's like the ultimate pair of cards there for like some shit coming out and having strength next to it as well. Okay, let's buy a strength here. The Eight of Swords, which got the Eight of Swords up there with the Three of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, it could be, if you are in it, if you are, if it was a relationship, or it was a way of being, or a business, something that you have to walk away from, something that's like, you've got a slight fear, I think, from shit in the past, I don't know if that is particularly this, I feel like the, the future is good with this, with this Three of Wands being in three times. But you may you know, think it's, oh, it's, just, it's like last time, isn't it? Boom, three of cups. Eight of pentacles. Eight of swords. Three of cups. Three of cups with three of wands. Three, three, three again. Nine, that's a thing happening as well. Nice numerology. Um, okay, so this could be a friendship as well. Could be a, uh, a new friendship for some of you. It could be an old relationship. Take it out, resonate. But three is fortuitous here for a lot of, like, so look out for threes, look out for sets of threes, look out for nines. In your numerology, they might give you signs. <laughs> I love to. The nine of ones comes straight out after. So, with the five of swords, yeah, this is like whatever this situation is, and I think it'll be, it'll clearly be different for everybody, but this has left you battered. Whatever this five of swords, where you've had to hold your ground, um, you've had to stand up to someone who's been shit to you. And again, it could be some of your marriage, some of your ex partner, because something to do with kids. <sighs> You could have been making a lot of changes in your own self that shifted you forward. This could be a nice connection, but also it could be a nice business connection as well. Something that's taken you by surprise that you wasn't expecting. But this is the wounded warrior energy. So I think you're a bit battered because you've got the four of swords as well. Whatever this is that you've had to fight for here, you're a bit battered. You need a little rest. The star, but there's hope, like, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, the high priestess, boom, the high priestess there as well, with the star. Again, actually, could for some of you, could meet a, a woman who has got it all going on, do something for you in a positive and constructive way. For some of you, it could be a new relationship, but for others of you, it just could be somebody that's really fortuitous for you in your life. And just meet some nice new connections that are going to be really helpful for you moving on from this situation and for and for helping you to be your best self. But you've got to recognise when, like, you know what I mean? You've been through a lot. Whoever this is for, you've been through a lot. Judgment, yeah. You can you can rest easy now because it's in reverse. I feel like whatever this is, it's cup, yeah, the world. Look, again, another ending card. <clears throat> whatever this shit biscuit was, it's over. <laughs> and you're in a much better position. So, for some of you, that could be a relationship uh, with family, with kids involved in some way. Um, that has, has ended in your favour. There may be a little bit, you might have a little bit of residue left over from that, do you know what I mean? You might still be, if you've been in a situation with something that's, with somebody that's toxic, um, you know, you're going to have that, you're going to have that thinking, that mentality for a little while longer because you're in that toxic energy, you know? You've been used to dealing with that, so it's going to take you a little while to calm down right but you will it will because you've got the, you've got the high priestess here. you've got to recognize it i, re I should have i should reckon by the end of next week 
<clears throat> mid next week is going to be a <sighs> pace, calm down. There may be something come to light that's going to swing everything in your favour as well. Again, this could be with a work situation as well. If you're working for somebody um, and you've got some new information, that means that you can set up business on your own. You know, or you had competitors and now they're, they're, they're not, basically. You're, you're on a winning streak here. And like I say, whatever that is, it's being left behind. Let's do the external, what's happening. The middle way. Let's see how all this is presenting out there in the 3D. Strength, which we've already had once, yes. The card of Leo as well, by the way. Uh, if that means anything to anybody. The Nine of Cups, beautiful. Beautiful. In your sovereignty, this is really, you know, something's bringing you back online. Like, it really is, like, you know, online as in with yourself. Um, <clears throat> making you feel solid. And also, when you've got this Nine of Cups, remember that you can offer that other cup to make the Two of Cups again. So, for some of you, this is a really good connection coming your way. Yeah, it's an end to feeling disappointed as well. Amazing. So that stalemate again though up there which we've got for the ten of swords. Uh, ten of wands even. Queen of Wands. Again, I feel like this is a female that you've met or meeting, or the female that you've become through this situation if I'm talking to a woman. You know, boss bitching up. If you're the, if you're the mother in a situation where the partner's been shit, doesn't matter whether they're male or female. You may be sipping into that power. For other, others of you, you're going to meet a female that's a powerful female in whatever way that is. She's got things to teach you and, I don't know, there's a nice, a nice energy. Um, hold on. <clears throat> Oh, is that Ten of Pentacles again? Temperance, balance is restored, yeah. And I'm just going to tell you something over here, cause, and it's the Two of Cups again. Yeah, balance is restored, though. What's at the bottom of the deck? Page of Wands. <laughs> again, with the passionate energy. That's nice, like, it's good. You're winning. You're winning, collective. Whatever way you look at it, you're winning. There may be some still some painful endings. Somebody in your world is being a bit of a shit with this ten of, with this two of swords coming up a couple of times there. Something there's just nothing you can you know what I mean. Someone's just not letting you go forward, but you you've got it because you've got the ace of swords here with the tower. So mass enlightenment there. You've got support of this female, whoever that is. Um, it could be your energy as well. You know, could be a parent. There's a nice new energy coming in there that's quite youthful, young, could be with somebody younger than you. You might not really be paid, as enough. I think it's going to knock you off kilter a little bit, you might not realise, and then, but it, you might also, because you're in this toxic energy, still not quite see the, you might, still not much see there. However, you might also, they might also show you where you're locked into that chaos energy still. So that might be a thing as well. Let's, let's, Clarify. Oh, strength. <sighs> Sorry. The strength with the high priestess again. There's definitely a fortuitous female coming into your life if um if they haven't already. Or if you are a female, then you are you're really I keep saying coming back online. It is it's like you're, you something's woken you up again. Something's brought you back into balance. Beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> Death. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like sovereignty. Yeah, something you've let go of something. There's something that's you've you've let go. You've just let go. Whatever happens, you've let go now. You've made a decision, you've let go. It's all good. You're back in the room. This little thing is fucking, you know, it's not going to last long. It might be painful at the moment, whoever that is that you're not talking to, that's causing to you some difficulty. Um, <laughs> look, it's the Ten of Pentacles. It's not going to last long. And you're going to be the one that comes out on top, man. 
you're so if you're again if this is somebody dealing with family yeah free materials again three pentacles up the right way oh, that's lush for some of you there is a new there's a new connection that is going to lead to this set of pentacles for you that is that is with a fortuitous female who has got your back i feel there's a good friendship there whatever that is there's a good friendship there and if that isn't another person that's with yourself you there is something has made you realize what a fucking dudette you are and your back your back is transformed you it's put you back in that higher energy again and it's and it's yeah it's ending that this disappointment it's ending that you feel alive again which is great okay mm -hmm. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, again, it's that fucking. Again, it's that young energy. So, either something new beginning or something new beginning with somebody younger than you. At the start of something. Something good is coming, though, <laughs> from the choices that you've made. Queenie ones, two, two of, two of cups again. So that's three times now the two of cups have come out again with this with this queen of wands. If you haven't met a female, you're going to meet a female, whoever you are. And if you haven't, if you're not meeting a female, you're meeting yourself and realizing, realizing your power. You, you're realizing your worth. You're realizing how connected you are to to yourself and and, and the energy that you're bringing in. And there's a there's a um, longevity to it as well, and there's still a little bit of you know a little bit of this this for this six of, uh, eight of swords sorry this nine of wands as well with the um, five of swords there. there's still a little bit I think that is that's where you're stuck in this toxic energy a little bit, but it's someone else's energy it's not yours you've having to deal with it and then you've just gone and fuck this I'm not dealing with it anymore, and balance is coming back to you. Yeah, look, luck is on your side. Luck is definitely on your side. And there is really a lot of contentment in the future there. <clears throat> That's the King of Wands with the Queen of Wands there. Again, another with the happy families at the end of it with the two of cups over the top of it. There is a connection here that is boom, by the way. Oh, shit. I don't want all them. That was a mistake. But I am going to take that 10 of emotions because, and their strength actually. What's that one then? King of Cups. <laughs> Fuck off. King of Cups with the Queen of Cups over the top of the, the Two of Cups again with the Ten of Pentacles again with the strength over the top. Okay. <clears throat> Leo's in the house. Leo's representing. Two materials. So there's that choice. Going to move that forward or not? These are really lovely cards. Well done. Right. Good things are coming. But one thing is ending and you're not having to do anything about it. But I think you're quite pleased that it's ending. And it has worn you out as well. You need to take some time out. You need to take some rest. If you can, if you can go away for the weekend or escape somewhere or do something... That is out of your normal world where this other pressure has been that's not making you think straight, then that's the thing to do. Because it's been testy. But all good things are coming in now. So a tower. Look, the tower again. <sighs> Whatever's ending here, it's good. It's really good. Because I think what's ending here for a lot of you is this, is is doubt, fear. You you you're so focused. You know what you want now. For definite, you want something solid. You don't want to be fucked about anymore. Do you know what I mean? So oh, the world, beautiful. So new. There is. This is honestly. You know. 
So yesterday was the solstice, right? And Scotland had the biggest energy portal in the world. <laughs> solstice, right? Um, so if you was anywhere in Scotland, but there were particular places where the energy was meant to be bigger, but the energy was was strong. And if I feel like you've walked through a portal uh, into into beautiful things, there's this awareness of self, of other people, of situations. It's all just coming together really, really lovely. These cars are lively, man. <clears throat> Seven of ones. <laughs> in, I'm it's in reverse, but yeah, this is about boundaries. Again, boundaries are hot as fuck. Yeah, it's about you putting your foot down. It's about you saying, no, nah, I'm not having this fucking no more. This is, this is, there is this wounded warrior energy here, but that is, all of these cards speak to that you held your ground and you stepped into your boss bitch energy or boss boy energy, whatever. Like you, you've stepped up this. Part. I feel like you have. I feel like you've gone through a portal for sure. Of like of of just yeah, goodness. You've you've won whatever this is. There may still be some residue in the three D, but like you've your everything's changed, and you're on top. This is the beginning of a fucking good summer, by the way. Oh, look, the High Priestess again. Yeah, you're really back on line. Oh, the High at the bottom. What's underneath that? Nine of Pentacles, yeah, Sovereignty. Beautiful. Really lovely cards. So, good things are coming in. Solid things, real things, passionate things. May have taken by surprise. Maybe early days. But your ships are definitely coming in. And they're coming in in a good way. And, there's, and you, you're as safe as ours is. And you're on it. And it's like awareness. It's not like you're so aware. The choices have opened up to you in a way that they wasn't before. You've stopped judging yourself. You're not putting up with somebody treating you like shit. You know, you've moved on. If you're if you're in a relationship that's ended or you've had trouble with with um, with children in the family in a domestic situation in terms of a breakup and stuff, it is going in your favour against the other person who is the toxic one in this situation. Your awareness is coming back. There's a beautiful connection. Either it's already come or it's coming in for you. Um and the beautiful and and also a beautiful connection with yourself. You're really you've really like you've definitely shifted into a powerful position powerful position. There's definitely been a rebirth here already. And if you haven't had it already, it's going to happen by the end of next week. Like, a real big shift. And Leo's important. Nine's important. <clears throat> yeah. Two's important. Yeah, well done. Nice one, Collective. That's what I've got for you. I'll see you on next week.